difference between pelvic inflammatory disease pid and premenstrual syndrome pms look at this picture mri pid and picture shows premenstrual syndromes detail going on what is pelvic inflammatory disease it is an infection of the female reproductive organ that can cause severe pelvic pain fever and abnormal vaginal discharge often due to sexually transmitted infections what is premenstrual syndrome it is a group of symptoms including mood swings bloating and breast tenderness that occur in women typically 1 to 2 weeks before the onset of menstruation a difference between one definition pid an infection of the female reproductive organs including the uterus fallopian tubes and ovaries pms a group of symptoms that occur in women typically between ovulation and the start of their menstrual period two causes pid caused by sexually transmitted infections such as chlamydia and gonorrhea or other bacterial infections pms caused by hormonal changes related to the menstrual cycle particularly fluctuations in estrogen and progesterone three symptoms pid pelvic pain abnormal vaginal discharge fever painful intercourse irregular menstrual bleeding pms mood swings clotting breast tenderness fatigue irritability and food craving for onset pid symptoms can develop suddenly or gradually after infection but pms symptoms typically begin 1 to 2 weeks before menstruation and resolve with the onset of period by duration pid symptoms can last for weeks if not treated and can lead to chronic pelvic pain pms symptoms are cyclical occurring in the luteal phase of menstrual cycle six diagnosis pid diagnosed through pelvic examination cervical cultures ultrasound and sometimes laparoscopy pms diagnosed based on symptoms patterns and timing in related to the menstrual cycle seven complications pid can lead to infertility ectopic pregnancy chronic pelvic pain and abscess formation pms generally does not cause long term health issues but can significantly affect 
quality of life. Heat treatment, PID, antibiotics, hospitalization for severe cases and sometimes surgery to remove abscess, PMS, lifestyle changes, dietary adjustment, exercise, medications like NS, AIDS, hormonal treatments and antidepressants. Nine prevention, PID, safe sex practices, regular STI screening, and promote treatment of infections. PMS, healthy lifestyle, regular exercise, balanced diet, stress management, and sometimes hormonal therapy. Ten associated conditions. TAD often linked with other STIs and may occur with bacterial vaginosis. PMS can be associated with other mood disorders such as depression and anxiety. 11. Risk Factors PID Multiple Sexual Partners Unprotected sex, history of STIs, reducing PMS, family history of PMS, stress, poor nutrition, lack of exercise. Total impact on reproductive health. PID directly affect reproductive organs and can lead to severe reproductive health issues. PMS does not affect reproductive organs but causes cyclic discomfort and emotional changes. 13. Pelvic Pain PAD consistent or intermittent pelvic pain that can be severe but PMS pelvic or abdominal cramping that varies in Intensity. 14. Systemic Symptoms PAD can cause systemic symptoms like fever and malaise. PMS symptoms are generally localized to mood changes and physical discomfort. 15. Hormonal Influence PAD not directly caused by hormonal changes. PMS strongly influenced by hormonal fluctuations during the menstrual cycle. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.